What's up guys, one about Jaguar Productions and another exciting comic haul video Half Price Books episode number 106 I know it seems like I've been away for a minute It seems like I haven't done a comic haul in one month Other than Craigslist one, so I'm dropping this one With a special... Wait until you guys see what it consists of And as you can see in the back, sitting pretty Thanks to Thank Geek for hooking me up with the Gwenpool and the Batman Tactical Suits GameStop Exclusive Collectibles. I'm going to be unboxing those and reviewing those soon. So be on the lookout for that. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get us started. Um, I'm excited. Actually, I'm getting a little bit excited, warmed up for the Venom movie. Because the second trailer is looking pretty nice. I don't expect it to be groundbreaking. But, who knows. All right, so we have the new Mutants of 97. I've always wanted the, to collect all the Rob Liefeld covers. It's the Extinction Agenda. 97 does like one issue before the first appearance of Deadpool. Here is number 96. Really bad. Rob Liefeld and his uh, Out Creations. The Amazing Spider-Man, number 438. Uh, guest starring a Daredevil. Oh, it looks like I doubles for that. The Amazing Spider-Man 424 Please with mysterious see. character. Hmm, I wonder who that is with the slabs. The Shield number one variant edition. Space. By the way, these are the clearance like items for 25 cents. Combined. Detective Comics number 875. Species. Scott Snyder, one of the best uh, writers out there in the industry. Alright, so these are the 2011 Batman me? Detectives 876. Hungry City. You will find out. Wolfrey, right, Doombringer, looks like Silver Samurai, is a nice graphic novel, got to read it. And Wolfrey number 75 with a hologram we cover, a gimmick of the 90s. Detective Comics number 877, Scott Snyder and Jock combination, can't go wrong with that. Continuing on, we have some more of these, um, Batman comics. You got Detective number 878. The villainy of Tiger Shark. 879 Skeleton Key. That looks like a real real power. I don't like it's that power at all. It all sucks. Wolfram no Blood Hungry. Sam Keyvart. Very distinctive. And check out his signature right there. You just got one of survive. these features in hologram cover of Earth 2. Guys, one shot. Want to do this, trust me. Ramachin, Rampaging with ring number one. That's nice super size issue. Giant leaps. Batman Detective Comics number 874. Join the line at, at 299. Uh, the DC, the price because kind of prices are ridiculous right now. And this one is a warming up. Um, Detective 873 with that that awesome cover right there. 872 with the gas mask of Batman. <laughs> and now um, I I used to own this and I sold it to a comic book store because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But this is the True Believers Van Number Spider Man 300 McFarlane uh, tribute. There's another one of these True Believers uh, Venom Symbiosis. I believe this is. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. Huh? Yeah. Shout out. My name is Jen. And this is the path of the warlord. Check out that pretty awesome art right there. Alright guys, now we get to the good stuff. This is um X the Continuum signed by either the writer or the artist. Check out check that out. By the way, I paid half twenty-five cents for that and I removed the price stickers. Same with this one, Origin, part one of five or of six. Um, it talks about the Wolverine's origin in a different uh, multiverse, I believe, featuring Adam Kubert Hart. Art, I meant. It was hot back in the nineties, I believe. Detective Eight Eighty One. Snyder Jock, one of the ones that's sitting pretty on eBay. We're free. Check out that awesome cover. The metallic reflective cover. This is the 25th anniversary issue in moment 45. Still the best at what he does. We're free number 80. This is my, I think, either second or third copy. Features the first 
appearance of X23 in a test tube viral. Finally have this in my collection guys, check it out, Wolverine number 100 featuring that hologram, holographic cover with his skeleton, exoskeleton. Pretty awesome right there. And finishing off, this is the high sought after the Black Mirror jock cover. Simple yet so beautiful right there, admire that. See all the bats down there for him to do a mysterious Batman in the distance getting ready to pounce on evil. Alright, so continuing on, this is the different hair price books I went to. Uh, this is the Eternity number four. Um somewhat of a big fan of Valiant Comics because they have the best storytelling out there. And I'm excited to read what Eternity has in store. Digging through the clearance items, I found this signed comic. Um, there's no name on the cover, so let's go ahead and take a peek. See what it is all about. This is uh, Archangel, first printing from Eternal Studios back in 1995. So that's what Archangel is about. Decided to get this just for reading purpose. It's Madman. All new Giant Sai Super Genshi Special. And now keep in mind, I've always wanted this Machine Man number one. The Living Robots. I paid $3 for that. And I believe the comics price guy is rating it like $30. So I was lucky to find this 1978 comic. And continuing on guys, I went to a different half price books and here's Aquaman number 10 with New 52. This is a special sketch variant cover that's um, harder to find than the normal one. And I decided to pick up another Aquaman number 1 considering the new movie coming out. It looks decent but I don't think it's going to be uh, groundbreaking or anything like that. Jason Momoa. And I picked up some of these um, Batman comics. That's half off the cover. That's how Half Price Books does it. That's number 431. Alright. And this is number 436. Year 3. Part 1 of 4. And check out these awesome um, <laughs> comics. That's already in Mylar. What was this? Ultra Pro Current Comics Mylar. Protective Sleeves. I love these. So somebody must have sold their collection, needed money, and I decided to... Actually, I picked the comics I wanted and I removed the sleeves and put them in there. It's protective. Can't blame me for that, right? Batman introducing the Firebug. So it looks like that's the first appearance of Firebug. And it's an early issue, 318. I wonder if that's my earliest issue of Batman. I'm not sure, but it's way up there, guys. Shade, the Changing Man number one. Whoops, there goes Venom. Flopping. Shade the Changing Man number one. That looks like a 70s comic right there. And I told him to give me this free because it was free or either they charged me 25 cents. But whatever. Justice League Day number one. I think that came with... Uh, I, yeah, I think that was a giveaway. It's part of the movie promo. Batman Year 3. Part 4 of 4. All right, you see Nightwing right there in the bottom. Very happy to get this Batman number 609 with um, Poison Ivy right there. Girls Night Out, and that's how you saw it after with a Jim Lee and jo Jeff Loeb. Perfect combination right there. And check out this awesome cover featuring Joker. Whenever you have a Joker, it's always exciting, right? Punchline right there. Number 614 back in 2003. Turn me on. I got Batman number 616. Looks like he's fighting uh, somebody. Hand to hand combat. I ran out of Mylar, so I didn't put that in there. Number 618. Looks like Robin's dead, like a zombie, like The Walking Dead. And Batman number 617. I basically picked out all the those issues around that time with Batman. 
So you got Batman and Nightwing. Jim Lee, I mean, you could definitely... His art is so distinctive. Gotta have that. And we went to... Get some of these Hulk. Number 37. John Romita Jr. art. Along mm -hmm. with number... 35, enough said. And check out this one. I've always wanted it in my collection. Number 34 with a classic pose. I think, who else did that? I'm not sure, but this is the one that's to get. Return of the Monster. That's awesome cover right there. Love it. Electro number one. Just because it's number one at Marvel Knights. Very lucky to get this, guys. This is my second copy of Suicide Squad number one. All right, the new 52. The other one that I found was like two or three years ago that I got from Value Village. Uh, so, very lucky indeed to get these. Ooh. Let me refocus myself right there. All right. And here's number six that I picked up. Um, it talks about Hardy Cohen's past. I saw after two, and also number seven, the, featuring the origin of Harley Quinn. Moving on, we got Batman number six eleven. Welcome to the jungle. Once again, Jim Lee art, number six nineteen. Standing tall with Robin. Number six oh eight. It begins here. I believe uh, this intro series is also warming up number 613 host a child for crying he's got Harley Quinn looks like a cat woman is injured I just bought this because I'm a fan of Silver Surfer and Dr. Doom awesome cover right there that's Silver Surfer Doomstruck right there issue 107 Silver Surfer number one versus Dracula, the cosmic battles. He undead. Batman number 610. Right there. Fighting the Killer Croc or some, somebody like that. And also Catwoman number one. Alright, the new 52. And ending off with Batman versus Superman. Just like from the movies with the Jim Lee cover. Alright, so next I stopped by a comic book store and lo and behold, what do I find? Bam! What's so special about this, you might ask? Who's that in the cover? Is that uh, Peter Parker? Ultimate Fallout Spider Man No More, issue number four. Hmm. And keep in mind, it's still bag in its original bag, guys. Check it out. Real great condition, too. Why, this is the first appearance on Miles Morales. I had, I have the second printing, now I finally have the first one. So lucky to find. Who would have thought of all the places a comic book store that I would have found the first print? I mean, you would think you know the owner know or sure. somebody Don't would have picked that out, like you know? Me. I guess somebody didn't do the due do diligence. Like but fortunate for me, I found it in my collection. And especially with that new animation coming out, it's gonna make it so pretty and collectible scale. And I'm gonna finish out this with my usual. What comic is heating up, guys? Kabam! The Incredible Hulk number 377 with the new Incredible Hulk, the awesome neon cover featuring, I believe, when he turns gray. The third printing is the one to get because it went up in price from $160 to $200, but this one went, jumped up from $7 to $22, so not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and click on the like, comment, and subscribe button, and stay tuned with me for more exciting food and product reviews along with comic book hauls. 
Take care of yourselves and happy hunting.